A little while ago, I did a video about an LED edge light or a flapjack softbox lighting setup from a company called Falcon Eyes. If you haven't seen that video, you can go ahead and check that out if you're interested in this kind of lighting. It's right here, actually. The thing's thin. If it wasn't for this little box in the back, it would be super thin. Let's just take this off. There, that's the light. Not much to it. I've been looking at this thing for the last few weeks and it got me thinking, what is an edge light? I did some Google searching, cannot find anything about what the inside of this actually looks like. And I thought, you know what? Why don't I just take it apart and find out? And so this will be that video. We're gonna find out what's inside one of these. You got any guesses? All right, place your bets now. I'm gonna, I'll draw on the board what I think we're gonna find when we open this up. But it's really unique. When you see this thing illuminated, you can see in this close up, it has like a texture to it. I'm really curious, so let's find out. Before we take the light apart, I wanna make a little prediction of what I think is inside. So here's what I'm imagining. I think it's gonna be, when we open this up, I think it's gonna be a small strip of lights with a bunch of little lights all the way around. If we zoom in on that, and the screen is gonna have a texture on it that's designed to catch the light. If you think about a bunch of little mini lights all the way around, they would have some sort of fall off, you would think. So by the time they reach this area, it would be a little bit dimmer. And ultimately, you'd think that this would be the brightest part right here, put a little sun, because this is the closest to the edge and it would get dull as it gets close, but it doesn't. So I'm really curious about what's inside because they call it edge lighting, but how? How is it doing this? All right, let's take this thing apart. All right, as you can see, there's a lot of screws. So we're gonna loosen all those. Well, these are tiny. Look how tiny that is. Ooh, okay, here we go. Oh man, can't see anything. What do you think's behind there? It's all glued down. Oh wait, no it's not, it's not. Gotta be super careful, because I'm pretty sure this paper is that material that makes it reflective and stuff. Here you can see the edge lights. Those are the LEDs in there. But I really wanna see what it looks like inside there. Ah, there's the, okay. Ooh, we're seeing some stuff. Okay, it's just a white material, but check it out. So that must be that, let's feel it. Let's see if I can catch the light a little bit so you can kind of see it on camera, what I'm seeing. There it is, there's the side lights. It's reflecting off of that. Oh, I see what it's doing. We were right. We as in me as in I. There is a string of lights around the edge here, but it's doing something that I don't know if I can really show on this drawing. Let's just draw a little side view. The broken piece of chalk. So here's that reflective material, right? Looks like that. It has the little LED light. We'll just do it like this light right here. It's shining, a little light stand. This light's shining across this panel. Right here, it's working like an optical fiber, except it's a giant disc, similar to an acrylic artwork where you etch it and then the light is shined through the acrylic and it catches anywhere there's etch marks. It's working the same way, except this piece of plastic has all these little grooves in it, so it makes a nice little catcher to illuminate the light that's being shined in all the way around. See, doesn't it just seem so much more scientific when you use a chalkboard? That right there is the formula to the flapjack edge light. So there are all the lights, and when they're perfectly lined up with this disc, and then the disc is acting like a giant flat optical fiber reflecting the light all the way through. That is such a cool idea. Could we make our own? What else has that texture? I had a glass cutting board 
that had this exact texture on it. I wonder if this could work with just a glass cutting board and a string of LED lights. You can see here though, these lights are very tight and I don't even know of any LED strings that are even available that are that closely set up and I'm sure these are pretty bright as well. So in theory, this back panel could be a different color and then the light would always have a hue of that color. Very cool. All right, let's put it back together. All right, I'm sure that looked a lot easier in high speed, but it was kind of frustrating. There's a lot of little screws here, but I just wanna put this all back together just to make sure that it works. All right, let's see. Does it work? How does it look? Clean, good? What's that? We just went inner space and found out how an edge light, LED light works. How cool is that? Thanks for watching this video. If you like it, be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell to get notified of future videos and updates and things like that. All right, thanks again. Knop top, go make something. Patreon, it helps keep this show going.